Hello everyone, a look here at another Lancet strike. This is widely reported as a Lancer hitting a Ukrainian crab, but other people online have actually identified it as being an M109. So the M109 is tracked by a spotter drone to its hiding spot in the trees, where the Lancer zeroes in on it. The Lancer comes in from the top, hitting the artillery piece at the front and towards the top. No location was given, not even a vague region. But it's interesting to see. I can't say whether or not the M109 was completely destroyed or just damaged. I believe, given the um, warhead of the Lancer to the M109's armour, that it was likely damaged, not destroyed. Now I'm sure you've all noticed a big increase in Lancer videos lately. Why is this? I have a few ideas. First, Russia has realised that the Lancer is a good and successful weapon and so is sharing as many videos of it as possible, as it's one of the few platforms that they're having major success with. This reassures Russians at home, reassures soldiers on the front line who may view the videos, and is also disheartening to Ukraine. The increase could be down to two things. One possibility, Ukraine is running low on the man pads and short range SAMs typically used to intercept lancets, or at least running low on the ammunition for them so they are getting through. Although Ukraine has been donated a lot and supplies do keep coming in, so I do find that unlikely. More likely, Russia has increased production of them and is churning these out at a rapid rate to get them on the front line as fast as possible. I think that's the most likely explanation. So what can be done? I'm not an expert, so I'm not sure. The Lancets have a low radar signature and are difficult to target for traditional SAMs. Perhaps the Gepard may be the best option, but Ukraine only has 30 so far. Now I have seen it suggested online to use netting. The Lancer isn't particularly fast and it has been suggested that a simple net may actually manage to block it. I personally have no idea if this will work, but it may be worth considering, at least on static targets like S300 batteries which we've seen being targeted by the Lancer place some netting around it and possibly the Lancet may get blocked by the netting. Maybe worth a shot, who knows. So now some numbers. I'll go through both the M109 and the Crab, just in case this is indeed a Crab. So Oryx has 5 M109s lost so far and 3 Crabs. That includes damaged and um, fully destroyed. Oryx lists this one as a Crab. Of the M109, Ukraine has over 18 service at the moment, of the crab, 54. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting, if so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it, thanks again, and take care everybody.